Okay, so year four this week, we're going to be starting to put together all these little bits that we've created so far into one artwork. And so you should have from last week all the symbols that you decided on. You should have started thinking about how you can draw them successfully and how you can color them. And then this week, we're gonna start putting them together as a crest. So a crest is basically like kind of, I guess, like a logo, but usually they're represent, used to represent things like schools or like families. And if you think about it, even Hogwarts has a crest from Harry Potter. So they always use symbols to represent things. So we can have a look at the school crest, the school logo, um, and it's got quite a few different symbols in there that mean something really important to the school. So we've got the book in here, which could mean a couple of things. It could refer to education, or it could be a symbol to represent the Quran. There's the tiny little crescent moon just in here. And I assume that's used to represent Islam. And if you notice this shape on the top here, have you got any idea what that could possibly represent? What does it look like? It's the top of a mosque. So this little crest here that looks quite simple has actually got quite a few different symbols in it that represent things that the school finds really important. And then underneath, it's got this beautiful banner here that says our school motto, advancement, determination, and faith. So you're gonna be making one of them for yourself. This is just the starting point for doing this. So I don't expect you to have a good copy of this drawing by the end of the week. But what I am going to do for you is I'm going to put up a whole bunch of different examples of different shaped crests. And what I would like you to do this week is pick three crest shapes that you think you could use to create your own crest. You need to think about how all your little symbols are going to fit in the crest? Are you going to use lines to divide it? Are you going to put them all together? Are you going to include it in the shape like we've got with this one at the, um, on the school logo? And you need to start planning that. Like I said, I don't expect this to be completed this week. I would hope that planning this would take us probably two or three weeks. You need to practice drawing this a few times in order to make sure that it's really successful. You are also going to need to come up with a motto, some powerful words that represent you, just like advancement, determination and faith represent our school. You don't need to think about that for this week though, but you are also going to have to do a banner in your crest. Um, again, that's something I'm going to show you how to do next week. So just do your best in trying to include one this week. This week, I really just want you to focus on the shape, whatever shape you choose, and how you can put the symbols in your crest, how you can include all those things that represent you in your crest. And in the back of your mind, I just want you to remember that you're also going to be eventually adding a banner and a motto. So you need to start thinking about some really strong, powerful words that you can use to represent you. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to put up some example crests for you to have a look at. Some will be crests that are from other schools or other places, or even sporting teams have crests as well. And some will just be blank shapes that you can use for inspiration. Remember, this is just going to be ideas, okay? This is just inspiration. You don't have to use any of those ideas. You can come up with something all on your own, or you can smush together two ideas to make it something completely different. It is just inspiration. You can copy one completely, you can create your own, or you can cherry pick ideas from everywhere. It's up to you how you do that. But by the end of this week, I would like to at least see one sketch, doesn't have to be colored, of a shaped crest with your symbols in it. Reckon we can do that? I think we can. And like I said, I'm gonna do something to show you how to do banners next week. All right.
Good luck. Let me know if you need any help and I will speak to you soon.